What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here in another Photoshop tutorial. In this one we're going to play around with some shapes and opacity. So um, I'm basically just going to use the shape tool to make some random shapes. Uh, I'm going to choose ellipses for this one. And let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Okay, just a regular circle that's filled in with a color. So I want to show you how we can use this to make kind of a high-tech or modern looking design. Maybe for the back of a flyer or something else. Um, I don't know. Business card, something. So I like to layer a bunch of these um, shapes on top of each other and then use opacity to make them um, uh, kind of transparent and that way you can see through each one in different areas. I'll show you kind of what I mean. I'm going to use Control C to copy this and Control V to paste another one. Uh, let's see. Okay. And I'm going to change the shape. I'm going to make them really large and kind of out of frame. And then I'm going to paste another one. And I'll place it here and let's just start playing with opacities and see what this looks like so we're going to right click on the layer and go to blending options and we'll make this at about 64 now let's do this one as well and lower this down and let's do this one as well and, oops that's the same one There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Now let me choose one of these and I'll duplicate that as well. And let's make this one really, really long. Cool. Now we can go in and add some color here as well and play with that. Um, I think this large one in the corner is kind of the dominant circle. So if I wanted to go in and blending options, I could uh, do a color overlay on that and maybe make it a nice blue. Uh, let's see. Something like this. Yeah, some sort of overlay like that. I think this design's pretty interesting. Um, I also like to do it with uh, rectangles because it can add some really sharp edges and even sometimes produce some 3D volumetric kind of designs, um, and even though it's all 2D in this case. But yeah, I really enjoy this effect and you can use it in a lot of different ways. Um, play around with it, get artistic and see what you think. Uh, be sure to leave me a comment in the comments box below with any suggestions or ideas you might have. Uh, aside from that, thank you so much. Keep an eye out for new videos. I'm considering doing 365 videos this year. Not necessarily one per day, but trying to at least get that many videos. So maybe um, making a bunch of them and releasing all in one day like I did yesterday. Uh, but yeah, more videos on the way. Hope you have a great day. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace.